These glass squares both have different kinds of window tint on them. We're gonna grab a heat lamp, shine it through the window, and see how long these chocolate Easter bunnies can last before they melt away. As you can see here, both tints have different shades on them. Glass number one is CS Black 5%. Now 5% is widely regarded as limo tint and is some of the darkest tint that you can buy. This is XR Plus 70%. Now keep in mind, the higher the percentage of the tint, the more light it's gonna let through. Now you might be thinking the darker the tint, the more heat it's gonna reject, right? But there's a catch. The XR Plus has what's called nano ceramic properties in them. Ceramic properties typically do a lot better when it comes to heat rejection, but as you can see, this one is clearly a lot lighter than the darker tint. So we're gonna grab this chocolate Easter bunny, put it behind the glass with a heat lamp shining through it, and see which one does better at keeping the chocolate bunny from melting. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. This heat lamp runs at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The average person, at least in West Texas, is not gonna encounter anything higher than the low 100s in the middle of the summer. With that being said, this window tint is typically not gonna be exposed to this kind of extreme temperatures. Also, typically hollowed milk chocolate melts at about 86 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though it's very likely that the chocolate bunny is going to melt behind the tint, it's because it's going up against 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So before we test window one, we're gonna go ahead and do one without window tint uh, as a control to see how long it takes to melt without anything there. All right, so what we have here is our chocolate bunny. The heat lamp is right inside of this Expel uh, tint display, and then we have the timer right here. done with the first test. Looks like our time came out to three minutes and 30 seconds with no window tint. This is chocolate with a melting point of 86 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat lamps 350, so of course it was gonna happen quickly. Take a look at it. It's melted, it's, it's collapsed, it's done for. This definitely looks really delicious, like something I would wanna eat. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna walk around the office and see how long everyone thinks this chocolate bunny is gonna last against glass number one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and ask John. Our number one tint guy here. Okay, John, without the tint, the bunny lasted three minutes and 30 seconds with their standard CS appearance film. How long is the bunny gonna last? Six minutes. Five, six minutes. Um, Probably three minutes and 30 seconds. Probably the same amount. The same amount, okay. Four minutes. Five minutes and 15 seconds. I'm gonna double the 330. Oh. All right, so we'll go seven minutes. Or maybe four minutes. All right, it's time to test glass number one. This is our CS Black 5% uh, limo tint right here. Doesn't have ceramic properties. We're gonna toss it into the display, see how well it does against our chocolate bunny. This is Expel's CS Black 5%. No, it is not ceramic, but it's still gonna do a good job locking out heat, just not as great as the XR Plus uh, ceramic tint. But I do expect it to melt at some point because it is facing 350 degrees. Not a hundred like a July summer in West Texas. All right, so these are the end results of the CS Appearance 5%. Uh, blocking those heat rays from the chocolate. It made it longer. We're looking at what, five, 5.52. Uh, that's about two minutes longer, almost two and a half, 2.15, not bad. So uh, next up, we're gonna test the XR Plus premium ceramic tint. Premium, just like top of the line, XR Plus ceramic tint. 20 minutes. Dying 20 minutes. This guy, he put some respect on that ceramic name right there. I don't know, 15, 13 minutes. I would say maybe 15 minutes. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Four minutes and 30 seconds for our ceramic tint. And I think that's uh, horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, it doesn't do justice for our ceramic tint. So I want to get a higher number there for you. I'm going to help you out. Okay. It's going to be longer than four minutes and 30 seconds. Um, let's do five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. More respectable answer for our ceramic tint. How long is the Easter Bunny gonna live? I would say 
10 minutes. Well, you see, it depends on a number of factors. You see, like, based off of the chef's mood at the time, he may be whisking faster to create that chocolate. The humidity in the air even would affect the number of bubbles inside there, uh, as well as the exterior temperature. Of the building with the experiments being held also affect the interior of the building, therefore the chocolate bunny. Um, <coughs> the shape of the heat bulb itself uh, radiates a certain amount of heat in a certain direction towards the bunny. If you were to say, melting towards the ears downward, that affects definitely, and if you were melting the core of the bunny first, and then the rest of the exterior of the bunny. Um, the next uh, thing to consider would be, um, how thick is the glass? It can have different types of tint on it, but what about the thickness of the glass? That would also affect the thermal dynamics of the actual item itself. Um, the second or third or fourth uh, thing to consider for it would probably be... All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch out the CS Black 5% for the XR Plus 70%. Now clearly, as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in terms of light. Like I said, this is 70%. It's allowing 70% of light through. Let's see what these ceramic properties can do for our sad, sad bunny over here. Test glass number two with the XR Plus 70%. We just got done with the ceramic tint. The chocolate bunny is melted. We're looking at a time of 1014, but we got to explain something here. So earlier when we were filming and we were heating this up, the glass actually busted. It cracked, it's done for. Uh, but you might be wondering why that happened. Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, we left the heat lamp on for a long time. Uh, we, after the first you know, two tests, we immediately would go to the next one. So it's obviously getting really, really hot. Second point is that typically when you're outside, you're driving the heat source is on the outside of your vehicle. It's the sun, right? But what happened here is we're having our heat source inside. So the heat is escaping out. Well, the ceramic tint does such a great job trapping in heat or rejecting it, I should say, that because of the heat source was on the inside, it was not allowed to escape. So it actually caused the glass to bust. And that is what happened here. The ceramic does a fantastic job rejecting heat. So uh, A++ for the ceramic tint. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Look at this. The glass just, it busted. And even though it busted, it still lasted twice as long as the CS Black, the 5%. Uh, it's just a fantastic example of what the ceramic tint is capable of. And I can't give you a for sure answer until we know that we know. Does that make sense? So how many minutes? I don't know, like five minutes.